Welcome, dear viewers, to Couch Warrior TV on YouTube. I am the Couch Warrior, and this is the Unbound Season 2 Let's Play. This video series is the companion to the Character, Character Crusade Unbound podcast. And in each episode, we explore Skyrim roleplay concepts and ideas through actual gameplay. Season 2 of the podcast is called The Ghosts of Yore. And our character concept is Breezy Baudelaire, student of the Order of the Divine Scribe, and now an exchange student at the College of Winterhold. Woohoo! All right. So, we did acquire a level while we're in there. Let's go ahead and spend this. Um, <clears throat> I think to start with, I'm going to be alternating investments in Magicka. And I think possibly stamina. I don't, I don't have to commit to a sit decision here until we hit our next level. But I know we're going to invest in Magicka. We just have to. Um, but the question is, what do we invest in after that? Given all of her movement-related stuff, stamina kind of makes sense from that point of view. But there's also the issue of survivability, right? I don't know. We'll have to see. All right. Why, why do I have two perks? Huh. Huh? Okay. Alteration. Let's, let's zip down here to alteration. Like I said, we're going to be using a lot of alteration. And a lot of destruction. That's going to be our primary forms of defense and just kind of practical spell casting. Okay. Off we go. Um, I thought I'd spent that one perk already, but I guess I didn't do that. Alright, off we go. All right, we got to go back and we got to talk to the big cheese. Deliver a message that we found some kind of crazy glowing spinning orb type device inside of Sarthal. So we're going to go do that. And then we'll, we're going to take it as it comes from there. Now Skyrim is going to put some pressure on us to continue this quest line without pause. Well, we're, we're not going to succumb to that pressure. We need, we need a character with, with a more well-rounded experience. And I don't, I'm not interested in blasting straight through this. So we're going to do some other stuff because... Breezy has other responsibilities besides being a student. She is also an employee, and she's also flat broke and needs to make some money, frankly. Everything all right? Yes, it's fine, it's fine. Uh. Yeah, you gotta be wary of the cops in a college town. Usually they got it in for the students, you know what I'm saying? Look at how fast she moves, I mean, it's crazy. But I love it. I do. Okay. That was a quick trip. All right. Just for the record, Draugr Logger will not be figuring prominently in this Let's Play. There may be some references to Draugr Logger. I see the question in the comments there, and I had been thinking about it myself during the break. Um, but I'd like to make some new commercials. And I don't have any copy written for new commercials yet, so... What you, you are relatively new here, are you not? I have noticed you, but we have not spoken. Mm, no, we haven't. Then allow me to introduce myself. I am Savos Arin, 
Archmage of the College of Winterhold. I am quite content to see nearly any aspect of magic explored and investigated here. But I do not and will not approve of any research or experiments that cause purposeful harm to your fellow members of the college. Are we clear? <sighs> yeah, we're clear. Um, listen, I need to speak to you about, uh, Sarthal. <sighs> Please don't tell me that another one of the apprentices has been incinerated. What? I have enough to deal with right now. Wait, incinerated? Well... Okay, so we found this big spinning orb thing. Um, I don't know. I see. I trust that Tolfdir will provide a more specific explanation. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Tolfdir normally looks after your little group, yes? Since he's apparently occupied, and I will need to see this discovery for myself, I think perhaps you should begin researching the subject. And good work. The next time you find yourself exploring Nordic ruins, perhaps this will be helpful. Ooh. Cool. Uh, okay. Any of these questions look pertinent? Mm. No. Uh, until next time. Okay. Wow, look at this place. Kind of dark, though. Hmm. All right. So, they want us to meet with Mirabelle. We'll go meet with her and see what she has to say. There you are. Oh. I've been trying to find you. I just wanted to let you know that Ancano's been asking about you. Who? I think he's looking for you. Why would he be looking for me? I'm not sure. Just, well, mind what you tell him, all right? Uh, is there a problem? No, no. Well, I don't think so. Between the two of us, there are rumors about him. That this advisor position he has is a sham, an excuse. That what he's really doing is spying for the Thalmor, trying to feed them information. Whether it's true, I can't say. But it never hurts to be a little suspicious, does it? All right. Thanks for the warning. You're welcome. All right, then. Oh, hey. I got a question. Hey, Professor. Mirabelle does a fine job as Master Wizard, I suppose. Still, there's always room for improvement. What do you got for sale? Take a look. Any... Anything useful... Anything... Ugh. Zephyr. Destruction. What level is it? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so the Wind Rune is 288 in value. Zephyr is 303, so... Even if we get this, there's probably no way that we'll be able to actually cast it. But knowing that she's got this stuff, that's good. Mm -hmm. All right. See ya. Hmm. Ancano. Who's that? Thalmor got... Oh, shit. That's him right there. All right. Yeah. You want to talk to me? Are you quite sure we need to be speaking? Yeah. I was told to come and talk to you. Oh, jeez. I'm not saying any of that. All right, fine. All right. Dodged a bullet there, I guess. So, let's go find Mirabelle. Oh, what time is it? Oh, jeez. We were in there all day. Hard to believe I ever complained about Rift and being cold. <laughs> okay. Let's have a look here at our quest joinal. We don't need that. 
Well, let's look at this hedge mage armor for a second, because I do have some ingredients, tundra cotton, iron. So I need beehive husks. I need a beehive husk and another skeever tail, and I'll be able to upgrade my armor. Just something to remember. Hitting the books. Okay. Forbidden legend. Shalador's insight. Find the writings. And then under miscellaneous, we've probably got some stuff. Collect components. Yeah. Yeah. Find a copy of Glories and Laments. So, that is one that we would pursue. Investigating the legend doesn't seem like anything we'd go after yet. Hitting the books is a good one to have up, and Shalador's Insights is a good one to have marked. Now, as part of Imperious Races, we've also got this little kind of Breton thing here where it's this is specific to the Breton race, where we get some rewards if we can find all the standing stones. That could be something I think that she would pursue over the course of time, which I think would be very cool. Um, it's not yet at the stage where she would specifically do that, but we're going to run into these uh, in our travels, and we'll kind of check them off the list. And when we get close to the end of the list, then we'll go after those ones we're missing, and we'll find a way to roll that into our story. So I think I've got everything marked that would be um, pertinent to her at the moment. Oh, hey. I was looking well, for you. I understand you're the one that found this orb in Sarthal. Uh, yeah, yeah. He asked me to come and see you. About class? Yes, from what I've heard, I expect Tolfdale will be occupied for some time. Hmm, that is a problem, isn't it? I suppose someone else will need to look after the apprentices for now. Well, what do I do if there's no class? Well, perhaps it's time for some independent study. Okay. Check with Urag Groshub in the Arcanium. See if he's aware of any references to this thing that you and Tolfdir found. I'd like to know as much as we can about it. Okay. Ugh. All right. Huh. All right. Well, we had to go and talk to him anyway, so let's go ahead and do that. Up we go. Hopefully he doesn't get mad that we haven't gone and done any of our work yet for the college bookstore here, but... Um, I mean, we have to go to class too, right? I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? Yeah, we, we talked about this. Hundreds of years have gone into assembling this collection. It's going to stay pristine, understand? I do. Uh, I need to learn about something we found in Sarthal. I know what you want. Word travels fast around here. Discovered some big mystery, huh? Well, you don't even need to ask. No, I don't have anything for you. Not anymore, anyway. All right, well, you don't have anything? I said not anymore. Orthorn stole a number of books when he ran off to Felglow Keep to join those summoners. Some kind of peace offering. I think one of those volumes may have had some relevant information. If you want them, you'll have to talk to Orthorn. Uh, all right, well... Until next time. We better get to work. We need to earn a paycheck here, and uh, the stuff is starting to pile up. You talk so. to me. Otherwise, you're going to find yourself in a lot of pain. Let's do this. First of all, we're still wearing that damn Sarthal necklace. Let's do that. Okay. 
Oh. There's this Ancano guy. You there. I have questions for you. You were in Sarfo, yes? It has come to my attention that something was found there. Uh, yes. I just informed the Archmage. I am well aware. Tolfdir is still in Sarthol, is he? I shall be expecting a full report from him when he returns. Okay. And you're telling me this why? I mean... Something was discovered in Sarthol that was significant enough that Tolfdir sent a new member of the college alone to deliver word. That sounds precisely like the sort of thing that should matter to everyone, especially me. Thank you for your help. You may go now. Jeez, what a tool. All right. Is that a professor? Oh, it is. If you require assistance with summoning techniques, please let me know. If you would, please also contain your summons to the college grounds. The locals do not need to be agitated further by Atronarchs roaming their town. Sure. The summoning of undead is even less advisable outside the college. Okay. Um, let's see. Say, I saw a thing about these missing apprentices. What's with that? Ah, that, yes. The group prior to yours has disappeared entirely. It's possible that there was less than the necessary amount of oversight that's still being looked into. But we've had no contact with them for quite some time now. Arniel wondered if perhaps they'd somehow managed to get themselves lost in the Outer Realms, but I think that's giving them too much credit. Hmm. All right, well, well, how long have they been gone? I hadn't really considered it in terms of time. What? I suppose it's been at least a month. A month? Let me think. What were they working on? As I recall, Yisra was trying to improve flame cloak spells to better work in Skyrim's harsh environment. Elos Tai was practicing illusion spells. She was having trouble with the calm spells, I believe, but only ever worked with skeevers. And then there's Borvir and Rundi, twins, though they rarely agreed on anything. Those two boys were obsessed with mead, convinced they could concoct something to compete with hunting brew. Something about using frost magic to chill the mead for a certain period of time. Hmm. I felt it was a waste, but the Archmage let them proceed. Hmm. Mead sounds interesting. All right, then. Well, yeah, I got a lot of work to do. Gotta go. Let's... Let's go. All right. Well... We need to get some food. That incident in Morthal was... We need to get some food. We're going to load up the, uh, the no travel bag. What we do here. Not that I care. And we're going to get the heck out of here. Alright, now sometimes there's some food up yonder. Second floor, maybe. That we can take. Well, you're certainly making uh, a name for yourself. What? Why? Well, everyone's just jealous because I got this job. Pie. We'll take that. Bread. Apples. Oh, I'm starving. What's this? Journals. Research notes. Hmm. Wait a second. Tohan. Is that what that is? Research notes on Tohan. Tohan is a hero of obscure Breton and Nordic folklore. Stories of his deeds used to be the subject of children's bedtime stories. Hmm. I'm going to read them later. Oh, carrots. You like carrots? Ooh. Hang on. Okay, well, just we're taking all of this. Uh, what's this? Poem. 
Oh, lots of poems. It's the same guy. Okay. We're going to take these. We're going to read them later. This will be good for us to read while we're on the road, right? I mean, who left it here? Godwin's journal. The lock on the diary was opened. The pages were stirred. I've not told anybody how close I am to finding the helm and how it seems somebody is getting... Now it seems somebody is getting curious. I suspect it's Neria. Who's that? She's always been asking too many questions. I should keep this journal on me at all times from now on. There's a page missing. I don't know who this person is. They don't sound familiar. There's not anyone here I've met by that name. We'll look at that, too. Why would there be page missing? Okay. We got some grub. Let's have a light snack. Let's go to bed. And we're going to head out in the morning. So... Some bread. Oh, you can't put off eating the pie. Uh, a little bit of cheese. What we don't have is some cheap wine. There it is, right there. Hey, what are these? Void salts. Azura in the box. Well, I can read that later. All right, time for bed. All right, so just about 11 p.m. Ugh. So let's do something here. Um, we'll give her standard clothes to sleep in. Okay. Right? She doesn't need that. She probably wouldn't sleep with that on. Or that. All right. There we go. She is quite pretty. I gotta say. So, let's see. What time is it? It's about 3 o'clock in the morning. She wakes up. What the hell is that noise? There's some noise keeping me awake. Is it? I can't sleep. Uh, it seems to be coming from this direction. It's coming from in there. Hey. If you ended up here by mistake, you will want the Hall of Attainment. One floor up. If you ended up here on purpose, then heavens help you. Yeah, could, could you keep it down? I'm trying to sleep. What the hell are you doing down here? What do I do here at the college? I research ancient Dwemer knowledge and find ways to apply it to the use of magics. Ugh. All right. What is it you're working on? Uh, uh, trying to explain the eccentricities of the Dwemer constructs would be very difficult if you have no point of reference. Okay. Well, do your best. What good are Dwemer artifacts? What good are Dwemer artifacts? Where exactly did you come from? <laughs> uh, uh, hi, Rock. Um, okay, well, 
Listen, I'm not from here, okay? I'm part of an exchange program. The students at the Major's College called me obsessive. <laughs> Do you really think I'm that obsessed with my work? You're totally obsessed. But, anyway, I've got things actually I'm looking for. Urag uh, has me on this journey to find all bunch of, just a whole bunch of stuff all over Skyrim. I'm not really actually sure where to start. I'm just wondering if maybe, uh, judging by all this crap down here, maybe you can help me. Huh? Imagine the implications. <sighs> well, maybe I'll find things along the way that will help you with your work. What do you say? All right. All right. Well, just listen. Um, what can I do for you? I'm not leaving until soon. tomorrow morning. What, what do you got down here? Anyway. Wow, look at this place. People always blame me for everything. It was only a small explosion. Well, relatively small, anyway. What is this? This is what's making the noise. Oh, well. Oh, he's got books. And scrolls. If you feel the need for crafting, feel free to use my workshop. Really? That is generous. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay, well, can you keep it down, please? I'm trying to sleep. How do I get out of here? Hmm. Ugh, that's better. I don't know how he can sleep down there with all that racket. All right, four hours we will sleep. I can still hear it. You hear it? Oh, it's annoying. All right, we better get to work here. Boots, gloves. Okay. We are going to need that. Cape. And you know what? We're going to need our. No. Do we? Do we not? Yeah, we need that. All right. I think that is going to do it. Okay. We are ready to set out. Now, I'm thinking at this point, she's going to need to stick to the roads. She doesn't know her way around Skyrim yet, so she's going to have to stick to the roads. And uh, that's going to be vitally important to her keeping track of where she is in the world space until she gets kind of more familiar with things. So we're going to stick with that for now. But, of course, we know how treacherous this road can be, so this ought to be interesting. But before we do that, we will stop off at the trade goods store here and see if there's any supplies we need as we hit the road, because I don't think we've got anything real practical at this point. I don't know. We'll see what she's got here. I'll sell something. just about anything if it's worth huh? my time. Yeah. I do what's necessary so we can get by. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Trinkets. Ooh. A small fur tent. What do we got? Okay, we've managed to accumulate almost 300 gold. So... The tent would be good. The cooking pot would be good. Anything else? I reckon some oil for our lantern would be good. Uh, okay, we've got.
got some healing potions. Gosh, hopefully we don't need them. Uh, <laughs> not right away, anyway. Um, okay. That is going to do mm -hmm. it. So, we are ready to hit the road. All right. That is going to bring us to the end of this episode. I want to thank everyone for checking it out. If you'd like to get involved and play along with us, check out unbound.charactercrusade.com for current play rules. You can join the discussion by going to discord.charactercrusade.com and getting involved in our Discord community. That's where you can find out all kinds of great information about how all of this works. And to find Character Crusade Unbound Podcast, you can go to iTunes, YouTube, or Stitcher, and you will find all those linked from the website at charactercrusade.com, as well as a full schedule of our upcoming live streams. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.